Hello, this is Mr. Woodruff, and I'm show I'm here, excuse me, today to show you how to make the base for a mousetrap car made out of cardboard and cut out on the laser cutter. First thing you want to do is create a new part in SolidWorks. And I'm going to go up to the sketch tab in the upper left hand corner, and I'm going to use what's called the center rectangle tool. To get to the center rectangle tool, press the little down arrow next to the rectangle tool and choose center rectangle. Let's start on the top plane. And I'm going to start at the origin, and I'm just going to make a long, skinny uh, rectangle, something that looks like this. Then I'm going to go to Smart Dimensions. You can come up here to Sketch and click on Smart Dimension, or you can simply uh, click the S key, which is a shortcut key, and go to Smart Dimension. I'll make the length, let's make the length 10 inches. You can always go back and change this later. And let's make the width or the height here 3 inches. Okay, so there's my rectangle. Now let's extrude this. So I'm going to go to features, extruded boss base. And most cardboard is about 0.1 to 0.2 inches thick. I'm just going to call this 0.2. So I'm going to extrude at 0.2. I'm going to do a blind extrusion and click the green check mark. And bam, there's my so the start to my base. Now with um, the bases that I've been showing in class, these bases have tabs that are going to fit into slots that are on your side rail. So let's make a tab really quick. So let's go to sketch. This time let's use a corner rectangle tool. So I'm gonna click on the little arrow and then click corner rectangle. And it's gonna ask me what plane or what face do I wanna draw on? Click on the top of your base and it should come flat so we can see it. And let's start that corner rectangle right on the line here, right on the edge of uh, the larger rectangle. And I'm just gonna draw a rectangle, something like this, okay? And now let's smart dimension. So I'm gonna hit escape to get out of my drawing tool and then hit the S key to go to smart dimensions. And let's make this tab uh, three inches looks good. So three inches and the height here, uh, remember cardboard's about 0.2 inches thick. We can always change this later. I'm gonna make this uh, 0.3. Okay, and now um, let's, I'm gonna hit escape here. And what I want to do next is I want to finish dimensioning this. I probably should have done this first. I wasn't thinking. I'm going to go to the sketch and use the center line tool. So next to the line tool is the center line tool. And I'm going to start at the origin and just bring a center line straight down until I hit the midpoint there. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to go to smart dimensions here. And I'm going to go from this point, the upper right hand corner of the tri of the rectangle I just made over to that midpoint. And let's make that a nice round number so we can work with this later in our side frame. I'm going to make this one inch. Okay, so my tab is three inches long, 0.3 of an inch coming off of the, the main base and an inch from the center of the uh, base. Okay, so now I'm going to click the green check mark. And now let's extrude this. So features, extruded boss base, I'm going to show you a little trick here. I'm going to hold down my center uh, scroll button and move the mouse up so I can see what this is trying to do. See how it's trying to extrude up? I don't want to extrude up. I want to extrude down from this. So I'm going to come over here to this feature tree on the left-hand side in the boss extrude menu, and I'm going to change blind to up to surface. Okay? And then I'm going to hold that center scroll button and move this down and then click on the bottom surface of that original um, base that I made. And now look what it's going to do. It's going to extrude down into the depth of the cardboard or to the depth of my base itself. This is really useful because when if I go to change the width of the cardboard later or the width of the base, it'll automatically change the tabs with it. So that's is, this is actually really beneficial. I'm going to click the green check mark and boom, I've made um, a tab here. All right. Now let's mirror this tab. This tab is selected right now. So this is going to be really easy. I go to features. And then I'm going to click on mirror. All right. Now it's already over here on the left hand side under features to mirror. See how it already says boss extrude one. Well, if you're if this wasn't selected, like let me delete this. And so it's not selected anymore. The name already exists or is invalid. Sorry, I'm trying to just clear my selections here. So let's say nothing is selected here. What you can do is highlight the box under features to mirror and then come up here to the feature tree that's right here. Uh, in the drawing window and click the little arrow so you can see this feature tree and now select 
in this case, boss extrude two. That's what I'm, I'm trying to mirror and see how it comes up under the, um, the menu here, features to mirror. Now I just need to tell the computer or SolidWorks, where do I want to mirror? So I'm going to click on mirror face plane and then come back over here to this feature tree. And I want to mirror the first time over this front plane and watch what happens when I click front plane. It shows over here if in my preview, I can do full preview or partial preview. It shows me where it's going to make the tab. That's exactly where I want it. So I'm going to click the green check mark. And now let's mirror these tabs over to the other side again. So I'm going to come up to features, mirror, and see under features to mirror, now it says mirror one, which is great. I do want to feature that mirror one. Um, the other thing I want to um, mirror is this other boss extrude, this boss extrude two. So I'm going to highlight features to mirror, and then I'm going to click on boss extrude. And now you can see that both of these are highlighted. Boss extrude two. And if I come over here, mirror, mirror one is also highlighted. Okay, I'm going to come over here to where it says mirror face plane. I'm going to click on the box to turn it blue. And then I'm going to find the right plane. We click on the right plane and look, from this one tab that I made, I mirrored it over to the other side. And then I'm going to mirror over to the other side of the uh, base to create four tabs in one. I'm going to click the green check mark. And boom, there's my base. I'm going to hit control seven so we can see that a little bit. And there is a mousetrap car base that we can use uh, to make a mousetrap car. Now, if you want to go back and change anything, uh, you can do that over here in the in the feature menu. So just like if I wanted to change the original base, for example, I could click on boss extrude one and then edit the sketch. That would allow me to change the smart dimensions or I could click edit feature and that would allow me to change the depth of the cardboard that I made. Um, I hope that you find this useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, sorry, you should save this, right? So come up to the save menu, save as, make sure you're saving in the shared drive. So click on this PC, the student read write drive, which is capital R, capital W, Mr. Woodruff, and then go to your period, period two, three, or six. I'm gonna go to period six, and then I'm gonna find my name. I'll use Woodruff three. And I'm going to make a new folder for this. So I'm going to right click new folder and I'm going to call this my mousetrap car. Okay, I'm going to hit open. I need to actually open this folder and then name the part. Don't call it part three. You're not going to know what that is later. Call this mousetrap car base or call it base, whatever, just so you can find it later and know what the name is. And then just save this as a SolidWorks part. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have questions.